How are you feeling about Monday? Great. Karen Reed left the courthouse for the last time before opening arguments in her second degree murder trial. Commonwealth versus Reed, 2282CR117. During a hearing, Judge Beverly Canoni decided what evidence jurors will see before they decide if Reed is guilty of murdering her boyfriend, Boston Police Officer John O'Keefe. For example, the judge ruled O'Keefe's young niece and nephew will be able to testify about a fight they witnessed between Reed and O'Keefe while on vacation in Aruba. Both uh, children indicate that there's uh, approximately 20 minutes screaming match or some, something of, to that effect. The defense, meanwhile, wants to question the lead investigator on the case, Trooper Michael Proctor, about an internal investigation he is facing. The Commonwealth has in its possession numerous materials that suggest there has been significant misconduct on the part of Trooper Proctor. It may well be the fact that there's an investigation without what the nature of the investigation is. The judge said she will likely allow Reed's blood alcohol test results to be presented and will probably not force District Attorney Michael Morrissey to testify. We weren't really on the bubble about anything. Everything that we've asked for is, you know, we, we're just asking to be able to try the case that needs to be tried. And from everything that the court said today, it appears that she's going to allow us to do that. In perhaps the defense's biggest win, the judge will allow them to tell jurors that they believe someone else killed John O'Keefe. My daughter is factually innocent. She's being framed. Each side will get 45 minutes on Monday morning to present its opening statements to the jury. After that, testimony is expected to last six to eight weeks.